Good morning you guys, it's Karen and I thought I would come and do a little review of this. This is the number seven Radiance 15% Vitamin C Serum. I showed this in a haul video and you guys, a few of you guys asked for a review of it and I will mention the other one, two, three, four items in their Vitamin C radi Radiance range. So this serum is 15% Vitamin C but it's not ascorbic acid, it's ethylated ascorbic acid and that's an ingredient that you guys know that I love. I love it from the point of view of how it works and I love how it feels. It's got a slight sort of greasy warming feeling, the ones I've used anyway from Desiem and yeah I know that I like it so I thought I would give this a go. Um, this has also got castor oil in it and it's got sodium hyaluronate in it. This does have perfume in it, it's number 17 on the list so it's not very high on the list but it is a smell that you're aware of as soon as you use it. It's a really nice scent, it's a very citrusy smell, orangey smell, but it's not, um, it isn't essential oil, it is actually fragrance and honestly I'm not sure which is the lesser of the two evils because some people seem to think that we, because it's got essential oils in it that are natural that that means it's okay on your skin and you know it really doesn't work like that, you know tobacco is natural. Um, but with for me, certainly, the essential orange essential oil is worse on my skin generally than things that say fragrance. But the problem with fragrance is you don't actually know what's in there. Um, but this one, like I said, it does smell, it smells pretty strong when you first use it. So I'm surprised that it's so far down the list that it is number 17. But for me, it hasn't done anything to irritate my skin at all. Whereas the last one I used with the orange essential oil in it, even though it was low on the list, did very much irritate my skin. I have been using this on my neck as well because it's my neck where it irritated it. Um, but it's something to be aware of if you've got very sensitive skin then it's probably not for you and I probably wouldn't repurchase it because of that. This is one of those, I'm just going to enjoy it. I, I actually do like the scent. Normally I don't like orange scent but it's. I think it's because it's an artificial one that I like it for some reason. Um, and then I probably won't repurchase because I know it's not good for my skin. Um, the claims on this are that it's fast absorbing, brightens and firms skin all day, is a lightweight gel that reduces uneven tone and texture. So the brightens and firms and reduces un uneven tone and texture are something that vitamin C um, is thought to do, but obviously that's not gonna happen in the small amount of time that I've used it. Although the, the reviews on this are very good and people are saying that they have seen a difference in their skin. I would say that I have felt my skin feel really nice when using this. Um, you know I use this in the morning before my SPF and after cleansing I use this, put my SPF on, that's me done and my skin has been feeling really nice and it's a it's, it feels really nice to use. I actually didn't like it at first because it is a lightweight gel as they say that is fast absorbing so you put it on and it almost instantly tightens so I can see where they say it firms. It does feel like it almost instantly firms your skin. I don't think that's something that would last though. Um, but because of that, I have noticed that my skin can sometimes feel a little bit, even now as I'm talking, I can kind of feel in this area, it's a little bit tight. And so I've been putting an oil on in the evening. I don't always use oils in my routine just where I think my skin's feeling a bit tight or, you know, dry. Um, so I don't know if you've got really dry skin, you're probably going to have to use something else to kind of combat what this is doing, if that makes sense, combat that dry feeling um, and use a really hydrating SPF or a hydrating day cream if you use that separate to your SPF. So I think this would be really nice for oily skin, um, but then is that is that an ingredient you're gonna want to use if you've got oily skin? I'm not sure. So I really love it. I think it's really nice as a little sort of treat, as a little sort of luxury product. I am gonna use it up, but probably not when I'll repurchase. Um, in the range there is also a daily moisturiser. This one by the way is £20 but I would say with number seven, wait until you get the voucher, wait until there's some kind of offer on and you can always get it for less than that. Um, so £20, the daily moisturiser is £14. It has quite bad reviews actually on the Boots website where people just saying that they have, they're very underwhelmed by it, they don't feel it's doing anything at all for their skin and they're not really enjoying it. Um, it's also perfumed, it's number 16. The vitamin C in the moisturiser, in the daily moisturiser, is ascorbyl glucoside. Um, I've used ascorbyl glucoside from the ordinary and it's not an ingredient that I love. I didn't find, I felt like I was using nothing, you know, it just felt like a real watery product. Um, and ascorbyl glucoside is a derivative that's going to take quite a while to, to, quite a few steps to convert into vitamin C and work in your skin. Um, but the thing for me about this daily moisturiser 
that really puts me off is it's in a jar I just I don't want to use something that I have to keep poking my fingers in um, so that one's definite no for me they do a toner that is 12 pound and this one is two percent and again it's ethyl ascorbic acid so it's the type that I like um, it does have perfume in it but it's number 20 and it also has citric acid and gluconolactane in it which is gluconolactane is a PHA a, a polyhydroxy acid um, this one I may well try it would be good if I could see how strong the perfume smell was because again if it was really strong then I'm probably I probably wouldn't bother but um it is it is number 20 so in my mind it shouldn't be too overpowering you know and um, but that's a possible but it's certainly not something I'm going to rush out and buy um then they do these hydrogel masks for 10 pound um they have got magnesium magnesium <laughs> magnesium ascorbyl phosphate in them that's the type of vitamin c so another derivative um they are i told you 10 pound they have no fragrance in so they are something i would be happy to try because i do really like hydrogel eye patches i got mine from amazon and i use them regularly sometimes i use them with my led mask sometimes just on their own um, and the fact that these have got no fragrance in is brilliant so that is something i would recommend the hydrogel eye masks i just hadn't I knew that I wanted to try the serum and I didn't have time to investigate everything else, look at all the other ingredients, you know, to see what was in them. But that's something I might well pick up if I see, you know, anything else from number seven that I'm wanting and there's offers on, etc. And then finally, there's a cleanser for £15. It's an exfoliating cleanser that has apricot seeds in it. Um, it has bad one bad review that says that they had a very bad reaction to it. Um, I wouldn't buy this because I just think £15 is too much for a cleanser. I don't think it's necessary to pay that much money for a cleanser. So I might go for the toner, but it's unlikely unless I can smell it and see how strong it is. And I would probably buy the Hydrogel eye masks. I really enjoy this, but... Um, I would rather use my ethylated ascorbic acid from The Ordinary or from Hylamide because they have no perfume in them and they feel really, they actually do the opposite to this. Where this makes my skin feel a bit tight, they feel, make my skin feel really supple and hydrated. So that's everything from the number C vitamin C, number C, number seven vitamin C, I'm getting all my words muddled, aren't I? Number seven vitamin C range. I think it's called the radiance range. Um, let me know what you think. Have you bought anything? How are you finding it? And yeah, that's everything. Let me tell you what I'm wearing. I am wearing the Hourglass Stick Foundation in Shell. Um, on my eyes is the Bare Minerals Pigment in Vanilla Sugar. And on my cheeks is a new blush by Vive, Jamie Genevieve's range. Um, I can't remember the name of it, I'm afraid. Maybe Pesca? But that means fish, so that would be a weird name for a blush. I'll put it in the description. And then on my lips is this, the sleek liquid lipstick in birthday suit. That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll speak to you again soon.